Hello, my sisters and brothers of Ghana at home and abroad. My name is Kofi Karenting. I'm your independent choice for president on the 2024 ballot, and my message is clear, concise, viable, and ready to take our nation into the future to create a new Ghana government. Over the holiday period, I had the opportunity to meet with fellow Ghanaians living abroad. Along with sharing the festivities of the holiday spirit, I engaged in discussions with those in the diaspora. I talked about the past and focused on the collective vision for a new Ghana in the coming years. A common thread among fellow Ghanaians is that the caretakers of our government over the decades have failed our nation. Ghanaians in the diaspora have migrated from Ghana in search of greener pastures. Although they have achieved a standard of living economically in their new surroundings, they all long to breathe the air of their homeland. In the diaspora, their rights under the Constitution of Ghana are frozen. The right to vote for those in the diaspora is held hostage by the corruption of the MPP and NDC. Since the High Court affirmed the right to vote for citizens living in the diaspora, the NDC and MPP have failed to, to, to guarantee and honor that right. The elections of 2008, 12, 16, and 2020 have come and gone, and the mandate of the High Court to count the votes of citizens in the diaspora has been ignored by both parties. Neither have an urgency to enact a system of voting for the diaspora in time for the 2024 elections because they fear the votes of those that cannot be bought with rice and cash. Speaking of cash, Alan Cash was the news of the week. The Minister of Trade and Industry for the Nana Kufuado administration, Minister Alan John Kwejuche Manting, aka Alan Cash, announced his resignation on 7th January 2023. On 10th January 2023, Alan John Kwejuche Manting addressed Ghanaians in a policy speech Along with detailing his concerns about the failures of the Akufuado administration and the direction of the MPP, a party which he co-founded, Alan Cash announced his candidacy for the 2024 election. This announcement is the first official announcement by what is anticipated to be a stable full of administration contestants for the 2024 presidential flag bearership title of the MPP. With this announcement, Alan Cash is getting a jump on the other rumored candidates that include Minister of Food and Agriculture, Dr. Uswefri Yakutu, who by coincidence or not, also resigned his position on 7th January 2023 and announced his candidacy on 12th January 2023. Vice President Dr. Mahmoudou Baumia who has been a rumored candidate throughout 2022, has not yet made his intentions clear. The MPP former General Secretary, Kwabna Ejipon, is also touted as a favorite flag bearer for the NPP. He has not made any official announcements. So as it stands today, Alan Cash is aiming to be the flag bearer of the MPP and John Mahama for the NDC. Same old faces, same old parties, same old schemes, and same old lack of leadership that governs like a drunken pirate ship robbing and plundering the riches of the Ghanaian people and nation. Alan John Kwejuche Mantin is a co-founder along with Anna Kufuado of the NPP. In 2007, he sought a leadership role in the NPP, but was soundly defeated by his partner and nemesis Nana Akufuado by a vote of 47.96 to 32.3%. As a government official who cut his teeth in the economics of the private sector, Alan Cash presents a resume that is peppered with positions, titles, and programs. His credentials in the study of liberal politics and international economic theory are contrary to the workings and governance of the party that he co-founded. 
In his announcement speech, Mr. Kwejuchimantin began by thanking the president for the opportunity to serve in the administration. He praised the president for his strong leadership since his election. Alan Cash praised the performance of the economy, blaming only the COVID pandemic and the Russian Ukraine war for its downfall. He notes the reliance on the IMF and World Bank in keeping the economy of Ghana afloat. Mr. Chemanting praises the IMF intervention, claiming it opens the door to stability, then takes a backhanded swing at the administration for the 17th IMF support request in the last 57 years. If Ghana had a strong economic footing before the pandemic and the faraway war, the aid that poured in from foreign countries, the World Bank, the IMF, and the United Nations was enough to continue its growth. The NPP, as a party under the control of Nana Akufuado, did little to tamper the effects of the pandemic for the average citizen and their families. The effects of the pandemic were buffered only for the hundreds of ministers, party loyalists, MPs, government, and industrial bureaucrats whose allegiance is party, not country. Mr. Alan Cash goes on to lay out the difference between him and the old boss, Nane Kufuado, who has been his nemesis even when working together. From the foundation of the NPP, Alan Cash positioned himself to lead the party. The party members have consistently failed to confirm the role of Alan Cash. His ex extensive political and economic education was never enough to overcome the backroom corruption of the powerful boss, Nane Kufuado. In, in 2023, Alan Cash announced his intention to capture the title of MPP flag bearership for the 2024 election. In his announcement speech, Mr. Kwejo Chimanting says he is armed with a plan. He notes that the growth of Ghana must incorporate the private sector, both foreign and domestic. Alan Cash begins his new song on the right note, but ends in the wrong key. In talking about the need for a government to work in conjunction with a competitive private sector, Alan Cash says, the government's focus must be to facilitate the process of making a private sector competitive by creating an enabling environment for businesses. Attitude to work and enforcement of discipline. We as a people should appreciate the need for discipline in all spheres of our national lives and change our attitude to work. Whether you are working for a private sector or for government, as a worker, you are not doing a favor to your employer. It is your duty to ensure that you earn your living from the efforts of your labor. It's Mr. Alan Cash Kwejo Chermanting proposing that the government of Ghana become the overseer for the workforce. It's Mr. Cash suggesting that the people of Ghana are not hardworking, industrious people who love working for living wage job opportunities. Obviously, the presidential campaign of Alan Cash is not one for the people, but rather for the industrialists who seek cheap, uneducated labor who are controlled by force or brainwashing. The underlying principles and policies of my independent campaign for president is steeped in a foundation of a science-based, data-driven, human-centered approach to bring a viable working government to our nation. I too want the private sector to succeed. However, I do not favor its success by sacrificing my Ghanaian brothers and sisters at the altar of exploitive capitalism. I prefer a private sector that is partnered with homegrown entrepreneurs, owners, partners, and visionaries. I believe that educational opportunity is the key to a strong, productive workforce with skills that are in demand by a thriving private sector. Mr. Cash talks about digitalizing the economy of Ghana for efficiency and effectiveness. I tell you here and now, Mr. Cash, you are already living in the past. The world is so far beyond digitalizing. We are in the era of virtual reality and artificial intelligence. 
Maybe you also want to light the runways of our airport with torches. Just as an aside, why in all these years of the MPP and NDC leadership and squandered money does Ghana have an international airport without lights for night flights? Mr. Alan Cash, you are in an era of human evolution when the power of technology is coupled with human ingenuity and ideas to offer every person an opportunity to create and prosper. Ghana is a nation of young people. They deserve a world-class educational system with modern buildings, staffed with innovative, well-paid, forward-thinking teachers and stocked with the latest technologies to pursue the future. We must invest in our youth by building an educational system for diversity of interest. I want the private sector to prosper by the ideas, dreams, and disciplines of an educated citizenry, not on their backs with their sweat, toil, and blood. Mr. Cash at least talks about government corruption unlike his nemesis. However, he offers no solution. The government of corruption permeates Ghana through and through. Corruption lives in the salaries of government officials, nationally owned industries, and party cronies. It lives in deals such as the Tema Port robbery negotiated by the NDC administration of John Dramani Mahama and continued by the MPP President Nana Ekufuado. It lives in the fallacy of a national cathedral riddles with overpayments. It lives in a ghost hospital system and housing projects built that were begun and never completed. The government of corruption is not a single person nor one party. It is a systematic scheme that has drained the resources for clean running water, affordable housing, social services, and healthcare. Mr. Alan Cash, I am here to assure you and anyone who thinks differently that the people of Ghana are a hardworking people. They will give their all for a living wage job. They will not suffer and be enslaved by an overseer class. Mr. Kweduchermanting in his announcement speech lays out a lot of plans with letters GTP, Great Transformation Plan, a New Agricultural Revolution, NAR, a PRD, and other programs. They all sound good on paper. However, they are doomed to fail when the funding resources are siphoned off the top by administrators, governor appointees, party cronies, and industrialists. Let's be honest, Mr. Alan Cash. You earned your alias by spreading cash to keep a corrupt party in power at election time. Not because you mm -hmm. boosted the living standards of Ghanaians. Mr. Alan Kwaduchermanting talks of a streamlined government with some consolidated ministries that employs the same amount of cronies. I say eliminate the waste of over a hundred ministries and their staffs and send that money to develop assets for the people. My people, the Ghanaian sisters and brothers at home and abroad are the hard working industrious ancestors of over 70 traditional peoples who deserve a future full of hope. I look forward to debating the issues with Mr. Alan Kweduchermanting as he fights to become the flag bearer for the MPP a political party that fails to offer leadership, hope, and ideas to Ghana and its people. Eyes wide open, Ms. Alan Cash, Kweduchermanting. Ghana is a nation of young people who are filled with ideas, thirsty for knowledge, and ready to be the leaders of a new Ghana. Brothers and sisters of Ghana, be aware of the wolf in sheep's skin. It is a favorite trick of the con man second only to the tactic of bait and switch. As your independent candidate who is beholden to neither party, I am the people's candidate. My plan is clear. It is based on a simple principle. In every decision, I will do what's best for the people of Ghana. I invite you to explore my detailed policies, plans, blueprints, and philosophy of governance at your leisure and in detail. I have 
publicly published my plan on the web at kofikranting.com. I invite everyone to join me in live discussions on Clubhouse, Facebook, TikTok, and Telegram. Please post your comments and ideas on these and the other campaign social media accounts, including Twitter and Instagram. My staff and I read and discuss every suggestion and comment. We understand that people are anxiously waiting for a ground campaign. Currently, limited funding dictates that the campaign reach as many eyes and ears as it's economically feasible through social media, television, and radio appearances. I am available to join in community discussions, young group meetings, or events via Zoom, Skype, and other technologies. Contact the campaign by phone at 0505-124-109 or by email at contact.agenda2024gmail.com to discuss availability and arrange a virtual appearance. Donate what you can at kofikranton.com slash donate. I currently have weekly live events across social media platforms. Join the ongoing conversation on a new Ghana on Telegram at t.me slash kk2024. God bless our homeland Ghana. Thank you.